The other son, or are we using the other son? Or are we using uh, let's use the, We only brought one. This one? Yeah. Professor Diggins ready. The snake is ready. Where's the Lion's stick for the ready. sun? Oh, I see it. Um, we are ready to do this show. Bulbous is ready. What time is it? Before we start, I forgot. I have to look fancy. For a puppet show, it's a very dignified affair, and you have to look fancy. Okay. Now I look fancy. <laughs> Not fancy? That's okay. Actually, for a puppet show, it's okay to be silly. My name is Jonathan Keesing, and I am a puppeteer with Caravan Puppets. I do have an underlying theme, and that is creativity with children. I, um, I think that the media-based entertainment that we have at this point that's so thick and so encompassing in children's lives um, Sure, gives them less choice in in creative choices that they make in play, and I so much want like working in a live medium, especially one that's got a stage that in some ways is a lot like a screen, where the children are interacting with the medium and that they're seeing something alive that a person that they can see and interact with is in front of them. So it's really creativity, and every show I do, whatever the theme is, um, brings creativity and creative choices into it. Sometimes an object will suggest a puppet and sometimes I'll have a puppet in mind in which case I will shape it out of um, Sometimes paper mache sometimes foam. There's all kinds of different techniques and all kinds of um, Processes to make a puppet nowadays. I'm really into making beautiful paper mache puppets with movable parts and uh, Then Karen my partner who also is doing puppetry with me now in the troupe um, paints them it's a two-week period oh, wow. of solid puppet making, and that is all you do. You don't clean your house. You don't have any no, kind of life. No, it was so bad last time. We, no, we it is. A, we kept a, me a, me a, a level of sanity there. Well, the biggest puppet that I've made was Stanley, and Stanley um, was about um, eight by ten feet. He was a huge head, and he weighed about fifty or sixty pounds. I carried him. Um, on a backpack, um, he was suspended above my head, and I used him in parades and in fairs and festivals. And he could stand out in a crowd of 5,000. It's the great joy is when the puppets come alive for children and they interact with the puppets. Um, I love it when a child is very shy and almost scared of the puppet, and by the end of the show is loving the puppets and wanting to be in the show. Mm -hmm.